Let us leave the report. Is that better? A little bit. Are you good? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. We're just gonna roll with it. So we're gonna talk about the witch today. And the bitch, however you pronounce it. We just saw it. It was weird. It was pretty weird. Very. Right? It wasn't really what I expected. But I was happy that everything... Sorry for my appearance right now, guys. It's been a long day. You're fine. I will say that I was really happy that every scene from the trailer is in the movie and it's very, like... The trailer is kind of accurate to how the movie is. There, the weird parts in the trailer, definitely, there's a lot of other weird parts like that. But yeah, it was really good, I think. Overall, did you like it? I really did. <laughs> they A lot of the movies in, like, ye old talk, <laughs> and honestly, it was kind of hard to Woo! decipher the codes sometimes. With I could not understand half of what they were saying. Mm -hmm. Plus, the dad has a weird voice, I think. But yeah, the dialect was really hard. Like, they really should have subtitled that movie. I got the gist of things. Like, you can understand based on yeah. context. Like, what's happening? It's not like you need to understand old English to, like, get it. You learn a lot about old English, though. Yeah, Like, I for feel sure. more educated. The soundtrack is really bizarre. It's... I like the the super score. loud, super loud. Okay, I yeah, like, I got a little loud times where it was mm -hmm. like, okay, not we're like looking at nothing and it's like <laughs> yeah, screaming just, at you. And we're there's a lot of screaming in the soundtrack. <laughs> a lot of like women. Yeah. I don't even like voices. I don't know what they are. It was they were weird. like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the way yeah. it was shot was kind of bizarre. Like the first few scenes. It felt so short, like the clips were short and then there was black in between, so it felt very weird. There's a lot of black cuts. Yeah, and it, so it felt like very really like, long black scenes. scenes that were obvious, almost like it was edited for TV, but obviously it's not. Yeah, like it's like a commercial break. <laughs> yeah, like it <laughs> And then it just faded. Yeah, I can see that. Way better if we're gonna do comparisons of what movie is kicking ass so far this year as far as like top. Uh, it's way better than The Forest or The Boy. Yeah. So I'm not out there. I was... And, we were both upset because nobody went to go see that movie when we went, at least. We like, were like 10 minutes late, and today is the day, well, it came out in theaters last night, right? But today is technically the first day it's in theaters, whatever. We walk in there, we're 10 minutes late, the previews are happening. There's like five other people, or yeah, five couples. five other people. And it's a huge-ass theater. I know really that wouldn't bother me, but just, I felt like the forest was bad, and that was packed when we saw it. Yeah. And I didn't go see The Boy, but that looked like garbage, and you said that was packed, right? Yeah. It, they, both of those are way busier than The Witch, which yeah. I, <laughs> I don't understand why people think, like, aren't seeing this. I don't know if it's for religious reasons, because the Satanist I don't group so. approved it, or like, you know, officially. What yeah, you, what a, Satanist, a Satanist group, or... Yeah, they endorsed it, right? Endorsed it. A yeah, they so, like um, formally endorsed it or something. Which, if you're confused about how it's a Satanist thing, but still a witch, because I was. Like in olden times, when you practiced witchcraft, you were doing Satan's work. So it's in that sense, you know, the old stories and stuff, where people would accuse them of like going against God because they're pra practicing witchcraft and stuff. It's kind of like that's that vibe. So that's how they are related because I was like, is it a witch movie or a Satanist movie? Yeah. It's both. So far I think this one is the most artistic and it's so beautiful and almost reminds me of The Village, which I knew it probably would given the time era's kind of similar yeah. vibes, although they knew more modern English than <laughs> <laughs> the witch one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, it was interesting in that, like, watching all the pilgrim technology and, like, somebody gets hurt and then you see them, like... Bloodletting? Yeah, they start bloodletting the person yeah. to, like, help heal them and mm -hmm. it was, like, kind of interesting. Oh, yeah, they, they did that. Because I looked stuff. at him, I was like... Yeah. She just cut his face open. <laughs> Bleed the bad blood, oh, of course. Lord, yeah. yeah, so it was interesting because I you get the sense that's really accurate to, like, the everyday horrible life that it is yeah. to be a pilgrim. Oh. Yeah, yes. we were talking about how lazy we are compared to like that time yeah. era. Throughout the whole movie, like horrible things are happening to this pilgrim family. And they're like, oh, this sucks. Anyways, I'm gonna go do 12 hours of physical labor. So <laughs> yeah. See you guys. So as far as scare factor, I need to talk about that. Even though we talked about how there was some like weird scenes, there were some really disturbing like really disturbing, uncomfortable, did not yeah. want to look at it yeah. kind of things, which is awesome. <laughs> they didn't go too far either. I was worried that 
Because it starts off with bang. Yeah, for <laughs> so. sure. I like that a lot. They start off with this really disturbing scene. Mm -hmm. And for the rest of the movie, I was thinking, well, they did this weird thing. Like First. They, yeah. So now, where are they going to go? Yeah, I had no idea. Because they were capable of anything at that point. And there's really not a lot of spoilers to talk about. Although I will say there's kind of a twist at the end, which was interesting. The movie as a whole... <laughs> was really good like just overall mm -hmm. although there were weaker moments the ending wasn't great but this movie is actually accurate to folklore and stories at the time and the language that they used was actual they quoted diaries right? yeah they quoted diaries and that was actually the language used in the diaries yeah and even some of the script was written based on these diaries, like the exact sentences from them. So that was really cool. That was interesting. Because it out. made it more historical and you think a little bit more accurate maybe. As opposed, it's really hard to co not to compare movies, but as opposed to The Boy. <laughs> It just, I just yeah. can't compare them. Like, this was a piece of art. It's historical and it's fascinating, in my opinion, and it's really, really disturbing. And they did not use jump scares yeah. that much. They had some, but they were really, really subtle. They weren't like, well, bam. Yeah, it just sucks that uh, when you see a movie that you really like and it does mm -hmm. something different, like The Witch, I felt yeah. like it was a little more different, interesting than other movies. And it just, it's a shame. I have a feeling no other movie's really gonna come out that's as good this year. They there you go, Ryan and Sarah endorsed The Bitch 2016. <laughs> go see it. Go bring your mom. It's gonna be good. If you've seen it, let us know down below what you thought of it, if you had different opinions or whatever, what you thought about it, what you liked, didn't like, and yeah. stuff like that down below. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>